I used to be that guy. <laughs> now I have an assembled snooker table. Whatever. Is it started? I don't know. Hey everybody, it's Try Before We Die here at the Bitter End. I'm Colin. I'm Malcolm. And this is our whiskey review show where we randomly pick bottles out of the 400 plus collection and we open them and taste them whether you could buy it in a store today or it was only available yesterday. Two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago, only a hundred bottles. Doesn't matter. If the number gets pulled and we have it, we open it and taste it. And we will give you our complete honest opinion, even though it probably doesn't mean much. But it's what we're experiencing. You ready for our bottle? Tonight it's going to be number... I know what you're hoping for. <laughs> i got to get this set up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is 26. it? 26? 26. 15 across, which means it's 30. Here we go. Listen to the chair hit the bar. I'm going to get up. 15, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh! <laughs> he just lost like a lot of weight. <laughs> the crew is ecstatic. Are you sure that says 26? Oh, yeah, yeah, 26. 15, 16, You can count it 100,000 times, dude. 20, Just pull one, the bottle. Two, three, Live four, TV. Five. Move it. Move it or lose it. The Glenfiddich Grand Crew. This is a 23-year-old single malt Scots whiskey from Glenfiddich. This is finished in cuvee. This is... Single malt, Scots whiskey, cuvee cask finished. This is part of Glenfiddich's, oh, is this part of their experimental range? I believe this is number three or four. This is part of the Winter Storm, the IPA cask, the Double X cask, the Fire and Cane cask. This is the, the Grand Crew. Now, so the Winter Storm, if I have that right, was a 21-year-old. So of their series of releases, there are, oh, pretty available, pretty affordable, pretty available. Oh, not so much. That'd be the Winter Storm. Pretty available, pretty available, pretty affordable. <gasps> Less so. That's this. Try before we die. Mal, anything? Number. Bottle. That's what we do. That's right. We open it. Now, I, I will say this. This whole place is like jumping yeah. with energy So I will right say now. this, right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to step, roll this back a little bit. I've heard you guys talk about this. I've heard you guys rave about this. But I will tell you this. I honestly have no idea why this is supposed to be so, so special. I got nothing. I got nothing. In fact, hang tight, everybody. Mal, give them some information about Glenfiddich. Okay, so I'm just going to throw it out and just put this out here. So, uh, Deathbed Space Side, Dufftown. Uh, as bold and adventurous as ever, the stag has been raising its antlers in the glen of the red River Fiddick. And that pretty much sums up what this is all about. Oh, the River Fiddick? Kind of like Glen Livet with the River Livet? Correct. And this is another one of the great houses. So we, we actually bought this bottle. Wasn't any sort of a shifty deal like in the Sopranos. Glen Fiddick acknowledges their circumstances sometimes about we have something and so I just like to show everybody the presentation box it's nice All right it's like a Houdini kind of a deal it's just beautiful oh and we have this thing on the inside so we might take a couple extra minutes tonight we'll try to make up for it but let's just see what we can learn the cuvee cask finish creates a truly innovative single malt. Its deep layers of distinctive flavor will enhance any moment, from aperitif hour to fine dining. On the nose, you'll discover apple blossom, freshly baked bread, and candied lemon. Then to have layers of rich vanilla oak, sweet brioche, sandalwood, pear sorbet, 
and white grape. All culminate in an unforgettable whiskey experience. Only our malt master, Brian Kinsman, could craft a whiskey of such unique and extraordinary character. The whiskey matures for 23 years in hand-selected American and European oak cask to impart exquisite depth before being finished in rare and highly praised French cuvee casks. The final expression is the ultimate spirit of celebration, the legacy. Five generations of family have established a powerful legacy that to this day empowers us to write our own rules. Our own enduring independent spirit gives us the freedom to innovate and proudly forge our own path. The Glenfiddich Grand Crew, 23 year old, still available, but you'll have to dig deep to get your own bottle. And I'm gonna just, so we have some clarification, cuvee. That must be a wine, correct? I feel like that's a a champagne. Okay, yep, right. right. That makes sense. Because it's a French, yep. right? And um, I feel like we're going to have something when they talk about the apple blossom, yep. the lemon, the bread. All those notes should start to remind you of a champagne. All right. Yeah. It's a solid ball. It won't roll off your table. Can't roll away, Felix, but you're wrong. It's air, water, and yeast, but that's okay. Maybe it's air, water, and barley, but it's the three pillars is what that stands for. It's not so it won't roll away. It just so happens if you, you keep wanna, it corked, it won't roll away. You want to take a second for just regain yourself before you start the rest of this? Because I see you You were there when I bought this I bottle, picked. and I negotiated it a little you bit. did? Yep. This was on a, a whiskey run in honor of my father-in-law and uh, at my, my personal private whiskey shop that I've introduced uh, yep. you and some yeah, of the crew very to. Very impressive place. With very back impressive. rooms and special pricing on certain days. Yeah, very impressive. And uh, what do we got? Bottled at. So interestingly enough, only 40%. Huh? But that's going to perhaps allow for a true appreciation of the different flavor profiles. All right. I hope this lives up to our expectations. Like I said, I don't know anything about it, but I've seen, I've, I've pictured the faces, I, people have come up, and I know for a fact, as I said that number, there were certain people in this room who nearly fainted. 15, 19, 20, <laughs> 1, 2, you 3, You can count four, it a thousand five. times. This is the one we're opening. It's a thousand the times. 23 year old, Glenn Fittick, Grand Crew, everybody. Here it goes. This is what it looks like to open a bottle. Oh, it's, it's stuck. We gotta pick another one. Okay. Do the Walmart beside it. <laughs> Here we go. This is the deal. Try before we die. This is exactly why we do this. Oh, that's an impressive topper. Now I got this last November. Yes. Was it locked? Basey. No way, dude. This is lively. Lively. <laughs> Ready? What does this remind you of? There's another famous, famous Another famous, serious. Famous. Actually, there's a second. This is the second one we did. Yeah, but that's a that's a substantial. Here we go. The Glenlivet Grand Crew. It's almost like an ingot of gold. Yeah. <laughs> Not much of a gurgle. I wonder if that's related to, to the, the bottle. Uh, bottle. Yeah. You have got much better. Let's see. Let's see how this seats. It's almost like apparently it's sealed forever. Yeah, it's almost it's like too a bad for the crew. <laughs> no, after a video okay. shot, I guess we're gonna have to wait another twenty-four years. <laughs> wow. Oh, you you're a talk. Gosh, this is right there. this is why we do this, everybody. Not only to share our experiences with you, but to sort of surprise ourselves. What are we gonna have? I believe this is going to be the oldest Glenfiddich I've ever had at 23 years old. I've had the 21 year old winter storm, so have you. I've had the 19 year old age of discovery more than once. Um, and obviously 18s yeah. and, 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 uh, and under. Um, the Glenfiddich, a grand house of production. You yep. were referencing that earlier. We've talked about that in relation to Glenlivet. 
You're going to find a Glen Fiddick in any bar that serves whiskey in this planet. Most definitely. Yeah. Wow. You know, and I've been through this like up and down emotional experience before on this show, like, ah, oh, we're opening this. But that's the point. Mal, what color you got? That's a great pour. Yours was. <laughs> well, it says A. Oh, that's all right. Sorry, my For number one. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with a... I'm going to go with a gold. Medium gold. I'm going to go with medium gold. So on the nose, you'll discover apple blossom, freshly baked bread, and candied lemon. Apple blossom fresh bread, and candied lemon. You want to give it a couple seconds so you can recuperate? What if, like, the world ends and well, those seconds mattered? Well, Let's I'd get be, after it. I'd be grabbing the I bottle. love this. You pull yours off so silently. You're stealthy. There's the candied lemon. Yep. The apple for sure. The apple and the lemon really blend together very well. And maybe deep on the end is some bread. Now you can get led astray or you can be falsely led to a destination by notes, but the lemon and the apple, I have no struggle declaring it's accurate. Okay, the lemon I'll give you. The apple, I'm struggling with. The bread though, is almost like an underlying right through that entire what is it nosing. Say? Freshly baked bread. It's I like want right it to go underneath. with like a sourdough of some sort. It's like right underneath. It runs the entire length, if that's what you want to call bread. The, the, the cuvee, apple or right, though, there is something light in this. Yeah, the apple I'm struggling with. There's a complexity on the nose. Yeah, there's you. there's more than... The apple is present, the lemon is present, the bread is underneath... I have no doubt. The lemon is just so... That's the standout for me at the moment. Then to taste. Layers of rich vanilla oak, sweet brioche, sandalwood, pear sorbet, and white grape. Now, the number one thing I like about these tasting notes, Malcolm, is the only thing I would be unfamiliar with, in all honesty, <laughs> is sandalwood. I'm like like the bottom of somebody's, like, sandal. It's sandalwood. Vanilla... Brioche, pear sorbet, and white grape. No criticism to anybody in the world, but of my f juices of my childhood, white grape juice was like the thing I like could like like the least. But well, uh, <laughs> I'm certainly curious. So why don't we taste this? Right. This is not a once in a lifetime dram, but this certainly is a special occasion dram. And let's see if it lives up to its packaging, its price point. It's complex nose. Let's see how our tasting goes. This has got some... Hey, I just rhymed. Complex nose. Let's see how our tasting goes. Cheers. Cheers, mate. 26. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. 23 is the number. That white grape was right off the bat. The sorbet is there too. So I absolutely pick up on pear and white grape. Absolutely. It is light, clean, and crisp. And yeah, there if you didn't know any better, you would be like, what did I just, uh, did I even have If somebody a just said, hey, you want a single malt scotch whiskey and they gave you a glass of this, you'd be like, I thought I was having a single malt scotch whiskey. Yeah, this has a, it is very clean. It's like, crisp. <laughs> it's like, holy moly. But, this is what I'm going to say. Vanilla, too, for sure. Take another one. It's there. That's what I'm really picking out. Yeah. Is, is that vanilla. Now, I, I can't comment on sandalwood, but pear, white grape, and vanilla, I pick up without question. The vanilla is a standout in this part. The, the, the pear, the white grape... There's definitely something there. But that vanilla isn't 
overpowering. No. It's not like cooking vanilla. It's not like vanilla bean. It's just of the flavors you're experiencing, there's vanilla in there too. There's grape in there too for me, right? There's this pear sorbet in there. Now, is there this sweet brioche or this sandalwood? I can rule out me being able to honestly tell you I pick up on sandalwood because I don't know. But the rest of these flavors, it is like this. They're not married together. They're just, they're in this relationship. It's like an open relationship, <laughs> right? Where they're just together and it's okay when it's they're not. It's very entwined. Yeah. You don't it's really. It's woven. Yeah, you don't really. Very much like the, the other bottle that we describe. It's very much. Do you pick these hints up? And it's enough to just lead you down this path, but it is so smooth. Okay, here we go. After 23 years maturation in oak, slowly building depth and complexity, we finished this exceptional single malt and rare French cuvee casks. Casks used in the making of some of the world's most prestigious sparkling wine. Okay, so and of course, to be a champagne, you have to be from correct. the champagne region. If you're from anywhere else, you're a sparkling wine. The result is a masterpiece, elegant floral notes on the nose, a sophisticated <coughs> richness on the palate with hints of vanilla, biscuit and brioche, a truly ah, luxurious finish. And of course the Brit will be like, oh, biscuits. Biscuit, Yeah, that's what it is. Anything else we can learn? Just excellent packaging, their tasting notes, are relatively on target yeah. to the neophyte palettes that oh, you and I both okay. possess. But it is, excuse me, it is so, so smooth. There is, and you guys will know what <laughs> I reached into my wallet to pay for this. There is no letdown, because you were there when I bought it. There is no letdown on this experience. There is no like, uh, yeah, <coughs> excuse me. That's the marketing team taking you for a ride. There is no, there is no ride being taken here. There is just a, a country drive of, hey, did you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Experience this. Roll the window down. Do you smell those hay fields? This is a journey. This is a, this is a, this is a beautiful glass of whiskey. This is impressive. Excuse me. You okay? You gonna make it? You gonna make it? I know you're getting over a clump. I know. That's what the water's for. The uh, the Grand Crew. That's uh, wow! It is so smooth. That's the only thing I can say. Think of it. It's it, it's just so smooth. It is ridiculous how smooth that is. It's lovely. It is lovely. It is, is a, it is something that you could you could cherish that and be like wow, if this is the be all end all. I want to go to my grave with that. That's impressive. This is a this is a this is a beautiful glass of whiskey, everybody. The the, the Grand Cru, the twenty three year old Glenfiddich. Hints of vanilla. The pear sorbet, the white grape, the well biscuit, worth. the brioche. Well worth. Okay. Perhaps one of those unknown complex flavors we're <clears throat> experiencing. Maybe that's sandalwood, and if it is. I like me some sandalwood. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want any cheese. Nope. I don't want any chocolate. Nope. I don't want to taint this with anything. Nope. But good company. And since that wasn't available, it's nice to see you, Malcolm. Yeah, whatever. Uh, no, seriously, if no. I had to open this bottle with anybody, I'd open it that. with you. I appreciate that. And this you did, a, because listen, we pulled it. We pulled it. This is a fantastic pour. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's an... That's an I hope the... the what. Uh, that we're radiating our enjoyment yeah, that's because ridiculous. this is nice. That's, yeah, that's in there. So, um, I think it was Ferris Bueller who said something like to Cameron, blah, 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 but if you ever get the chance, I highly recommend it. <laughs> yes, was that driving the Ferrari? What uh, was yes, it? that was when he was driving yeah. the Ferrari. Yeah, if you ever get the chance, I highly recommend it. If you ever get a chance to have a, a glass or a dram of the Grand Crew, uh, we highly recommend it. Yeah, that's that's in, that's insane. 
Wow. <laughs> well, let's see what the crew has in store for us because they want us to move along so they can get their guys. I know. But I think this is one of those secret Indiana Jones locking lids. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not coming off. Never 24 years. Yeah, but let's see what they got for us. <laughs> Who should do it? You're going to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. Another day, another bender. No retreat, no, no surrender. surrender. It doesn't matter what you do with it. Wow. That's insane. You know, I, I can be like, oh, I can't believe we're opening this. You know, I was waiting for the right time, the right moment. But that moment is always right now. Correct. You know, we're constantly reminded of the, um, the fragility of our human experience. Correct. And like you said, oh, I would take it to my grave with me. Well, I would hate to go to my grave without having had this right. drink. It would have been a shame. Yep. It would have, this is one of those ones where you can actually be like, holy moly. This, there are certain bottles that we've opened, there's, and then there's, there's a way to describe it. This is the, 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 the pinnacle yeah. of, of scotch making. They should it's be proud of this release. That guy should get a raise. Cheers, mate. Unreal. Cut. Cut. Cut.